for governor, remember one number, 962. Mike DeWine voted with Hillary Clinton 962 times. Well, the number appears to be true based on Senate voting records, but many of those votes by then-Senators DeWine and Clinton were procedural. For things like whether to adjourn the Senate, others covered widely agreed upon issues like defense spending or appointments of U.S. attorneys. Amnesty, gun bans, more debt. D.C. DeWine voted with Hillary for all of it. We'll take these specific controversial issues one at a time. First, amnesty. DeWine and Clinton both voted for a guest worker program that included a path to citizenship and also on a narrowly passed measure to allow immigrants who were here illegally to keep the money they contributed to Social Security as long as they proceeded down a path to become citizens. But both Clinton and DeWine also voted to build 700 miles of border fence. This claim we rate as mostly true. Now to gun bans. As a U.S. Senator, Mike DeWine received an F rating from the NRA. In 2005, he was outspoken in favor of reestablishing the assault weapons ban, and he co-sponsored a waiting period on gun show purchases. Since then, DeWine says he has reconsidered his position on assault weapons. He has a rising grade from the NRA, and his running mate, John Husted, has an A-plus rating. So regarding only his time in the Senate, this claim is true. As for more debt, DeWine and Clinton both voted no in 2005 on a measure to reduce federal spending by $40 billion. DeWine also voted to kill an amendment in 2000 to pay down the national debt by $75 billion over five years. But he supported the balanced budget amendment and the 1998 Republican budget that cut both spending and taxes. Because Taylor's claim covers only a portion of DeWine's Senate voting history, we say this falls in the middle of the road. I'm Mary Taylor, and I'm the only conservative in this race. As governor, I'll stand with President Trump to ban sanctuary cities. Taylor makes no direct claim that DeWine does not support Trump, but because of the implication, we will cover this too. DeWine says he is opposed to sanctuary cities, and he has the vocal support of maybe the toughest person in our area on immigration, Butler County Sheriff Richard Jones. She's about as useless as there can be on immigration issues. He dismisses Taylor's claim that DeWine is weak on sanctuary cities. I'm trying to think of how many times she's come to see me and ask me about immigration issues, about sanctuary cities. Give me some time to think. Not. Ever. Never called me. Any implication that DeWine does not oppose sanctuary cities, we say is false. And I'll end John Kasich's Obamacare expansion. Attorney General DeWine says he will too. During our form in the governor's race, DeWine said the program has to change. Medicaid expansion is, is simply not sustainable at the federal level or the state level. We, we're, John and I are going to do seek a, a third alternative. Again, no direct claim made by Taylor here, but since she's implying her position is stronger, we would rate this as false. Well, tomorrow night at 530, we'll take this in the other direction. See how Mike DeWine's claims about Mary Taylor hold up when we put them to the test. Colin Mayfield, WLWT News 5.